The views expressed on this Turnbuckle Tabloid live stream or Turnbuckle Tabloid podcast episode do not reflect the views, thoughts, or opinions of the RageWorks brand, including the RageWorks podcast network, RageWorks content partners, advertisers, and affiliates. Viewer and listener discretion is advised. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay the Red Santee, and just want to let you know that, yes, Olski and I have finally caved in. We've got us up a Patreon. Yes, Turnbuckle Tabloid has a Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Turnbuckle Tabloid. We've done it. We said, fuck it. If you guys want to be a part of the show a little bit deeper, more in, more in depth, in, in, intense, uh, get more involved in the behind the scenes and be a part of the show in a more intimate and sensuous ways, why not pay for it? Go to Turnbuckle Tabloid's Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Turnbuckle Tabloid. You guys can be a part of it. Check out the tiers. Things that might be able to fit your needs when it comes to us here at Turnbuckle Tabloid. So guys, please help us out here. It helps us to build the product, better audio, better apps, better programs, and of course, helps us to build us to be a better podcast, although we're awesome as is. But still, regardless, your your your, contrib- your contributions, your shillings, your, your, your bits of change could help us to grow here at Turnbuckle Tabloid. So once again, patreon.com forward slash turnbuckle tabloid be a part of the extravaganza and the ridiculous and buffoonery that is turnbuckle tabloid join us on social media and as well as all the podcasting outlets and as always enjoy the show This is Loki. Don't call me Cabal, because if you do, I will kick you in the vertebrae and break four of your ribs. And when I'm not cutting a promo, being angry, miserable, or displeased, or kicking someone in the back of the head because they didn't say hi to me during catering, I'm listening to Turnbuckle Tabloid with Jay the Red Santee and Olski. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you don't, I will jump off the top rope and give you the warrior's way and cave your chest in. Turnbuckle Tabloid. Three, two, one. It's the Thanksgiving episode of Turnbuckle Tabloid. The gang's all here. I'm so, I'm so thankful. We're all <laughs> time to deck the halls and mook the halls, ladies and gentlemen. And the holidays are here. Oh, he's festive with the lights and everything. Go, Olski. Oh, you know what? <laughs> get him, I get him, I get him, I get him, I get him, I'm getting them, setting the mood right. Yo. You know what I'm saying? For, for me to be lonely. Do I have to do the same thing too? Oh, do you have it? Let's turn the lights red. Let's let's see. Let's see. It. Let's see you. Let's see you getting your. Oh, there we go. Hey, yo, My... let's go. Check this out. Raw oh. versus SmackDown. <laughs> yo, facts though. It's the SmackDown versus Raw fucking uh, roster on 07 on PS2. Check this out, right? My boy, my boy at work. He was overhearing one of our coworkers, this chick. Right? He, he can't stand her anyway. But he was overhearing her having a oh. conversation about. Like the lights that you have, guys have in your room, like that mood light setting. So she's Hell like, yeah. "Yeah, I went and got it, and I did it, hooked up." <laughs> so he goes, "Nobody." Drum <laughs> <laughs> show. No. My boy goes, "Nobody wants to hear about your puta lights." <laughs> yeah, they violate. Yeah, so, so, from they here, so from here on now, That's those foul. lights, those track lights, are now known as. Puta lights My to me. Puta lights. Has them I'm okay in her with room. that. Did you not? But she's not a. She's not that. She's not one of those. <laughs> No, 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 no way. They're also my Christmas decorations. They're all... 
it's only for older women and guys. <laughs> it's all it's for. And guys, That's listen, man. I'm I gotta, I gotta, I gotta set the mood for me being lonely. You know what I'm saying? I, you're right. You're right. You know, you're absolutely you're not, right. TMI. You're just doing so much right. I gotta yeah. set the mood for when I'm lonely. Os- okay. Oski, you're never alone if you got your right hand. Remember that. Then I guess He's I've like, never been alone. Yeah, no. like, but I guess I've always been. I, again, I guess I've always been uh, compatible. All right. Turn, well, there turn you go. the lights to beat it theme. Turn off the lights. Yeah, I gotta like make. I gotta make a shortcut Light for different, uh, different, different things. That'd be hilarious. Imagine it's like shortcuts to different things you do during the day. Uh, <laughs> it's like beat it mode. Oh wow! Uh, the Thanksgiving episode of Turnbuckle Tablet with friends, family, and loved ones. Yes. As, although we're nothing but fart and you know penis jokes here, we still bring the love to Turnbuckle Tabloid. I'm here surrounded yeah, by family, friends, and loved ones, as I mentioned earlier. We have the king himself, John Rondo, in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Hold the applause. <laughs> My loyal subjects. And of the course, king is back. <laughs> I, I believe I could say by now because she's been sticking around for the show for so long and who knows why she tolerates listening to it every week. The first lady of Turnbuckle Tabloid herself, Little Bit, is in the in the studio. Yeah. All right, let's go. And, of course, Oski's not here because he got COVID. Throw it out there, ladies and, and gentlemen. And chlamydia. Yeah. He has COVID and chlamydia. How'd you get both at the same it's, time, sir? It, because I, it's because pronounced I chlamydia. It's, it's pronounced what? Shlamidia. 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 Uh, because I had a, because uh, you know I got AIDS. Like they gave me the other ones. <laughs> no. Wait, wait. Do you really he have put COVID? up his lights and they came straight with an STD. <laughs> do I have COVID? Um, you'll find out in the next episode of General Hospital. Oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I have a uh... on the next episode of White Off MD. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> no, Dr. Deadass. <laughs> Dr. Deadass. <laughs> Yo, bring Dr. Deadass back. <laughs> Dr. Deadass. Bring... Yeah, yeah, whatever Oski, happened to Oski Dr. Wait, I wanna, wait, I'm going to die for real, Deadass. Germany. What are we talking about? What was that? Olski would have been brought straight to Jamaica, and they just would have diagnosed him as dead. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, gonna, uh, breathing, wait, no. wait, I'm going to die? I'm really going to die? Deadass. No, no, you're dead. Deadass. Dead ass. You're dead. dead ass. No, Olski, tell him right. why you're, well, tell him why you're home right now. Uh, well, um, I have an event tonight at 8 o'clock called Pops Giving on my Funko page. Uh, <laughs> terrible name, terrible name, but, you know, uh, had to throw a random one in there. It's uh, sales, giveaways, music. It's going to be a fun time. Turkey pop? Uh, just... Is it like a pop shape, like a turkey? It's, that yes. should be one. Is there a Monica I'm pop a... where she's wearing the turkey on her head? Does yes, like... there is. Yes, there, there is. There is one. Yeah, there is one. You I want see, it? I'm not down with yeah, No, I don't want it. Stop it. <laughs> is there... That is a pop. That is a pop. Uh, but, uh, is tonight, there already tonight... a... Is there already a cheap pop Funko? Like, is there already a cheap pop Funko page? That the cheap pop, cheap pop Funko page. Cheap that would have been, been good. That would have been good. That would have been a good listen, name I'm for doing it. Cheap pop. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Um, I'm doing uh, $5 claims tonight, like some sales. So it's going to be a fun time. I, just, I just, uh, wanted to do, to do something with the community for a oh little God, bit. And uh, that's, hey. the, uh, that's the event tonight. So that's why I'm not, whole, I'm not in the studio right now because at 8 o'clock I will be. Hosting in another event, so I'm going back to back. Oski's Oski's non-COVID having stuff will be back in studio really soon, so you guys can check him out when he walks back in. Yeah, yes, I'll be back. Have... I'll be back tomorrow. But uh, oh, we're not doing the suspense and disbelief thing. Where no, we don't tell no, everybody that nah, fuck him. Do, do you not know what uh, show you're on? Do you not what what podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, fuck it. Um, when when but... SmackDown was taped on Tuesday and shown on Thursday, we're not doing that. No, okay, no. But I do have to tell you guys, and, I, and this is a compliment to you guys, and it kind of is not to us because it shows how much fucking audience that we do have. You guys, when when Little Bit and Rondo come to visit us on, on the on the podcast, on the podcast, you guys are actually the highest downloaded and streamed shows when you guys are on. So it's, it's wow, good. I did the wow, research. Look at you guys. You market, guys are loved. Market research shows that they like the bearded one and the the, the lady aspect of wrestling on the show. So uh, strong J to well. you guys. Strong J. Strong J. And, and I, I also heard I also heard you're missing someone. I heard it's the triple threat. I heard it's Rondo. I heard it's when Little Bit is on the show. And I also heard it's when Ben is naked on the show. Well, oh, it's, it's yeah, always when Ben is naked on the show. It's always well, when, when Ben is naked and eating. And eating. Yeah, he has to be eating something. Shout out to That's Ben. That's the only time I ever want to show up. <laughs> I mean, what... seriously. So this week, um, 
like I said, we had th- we had Thanksgiving. We 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 all stuffed ourselves. We had our, our fillings. We had our hell yeah. Our, our mean, we had is if we're still not doing this. They may be on a diet, but I'm a fat fuck. I'm still eating. That's okay. <laughs> nope. I, I I I had no limits yesterday. I had cannolis. I had, <laughs> I, had no, I had the whole nine yesterday. I don't give a. Yeah, I was about to say since we got two of these skinny bitches on the show uh, this week. Um, no. Um, like I'm not there every week. Uh, what did you guys sure. do? Did you guys eat air or did I you, ate one did you act wedge. like you were having Thanksgiving and you were just like miming I, food? So, and, like what were you? It's what like Emily Blunt. I had, wants, like I I had a piece of cheese. I ate the thought of a turkey. Did you? Were you guys like on the um, lane, uh, like the lane opposite Fat Brian fucking diet? Like what did you yeah. do? Did yeah, you I flip it? I, I didn't give a fuck. I did lines of water. <laughs> that's a new thing. Wow. Lines, of, lines water. of water. Was it flavored it, it, water? Did you at least provide... did you no, treat no, yourself with flavored regular, water? Oh, okay. Regular New York City tap water. Drink the bev. I heard it goes into your system faster. Oh, okay. Nah, mm-hmm. listen, Rondo. I don't know about you, but like I dogged yesterday. I had. I, I cheated ate. yesterday too. It was I the. It's the holiday, yesterday. man. Listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, contain myself to a lettuce wedge on Thanksgiving. I mean, I gotta. I gotta enjoy Plus, myself. Plus, my mom makes. My mom makes rice with chicharrones, so you know. Like, I gotta yeah, my white ass had just turkey and the normal trimmings, uh, <laughs> but I, 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 want, I want the bani, I want the mac and cheese, I want the uh, light. Yo, wood. you're hanging out with the wrong white people because we have mad shit in my house. Well, your house is blended. Yeah, don't shush, shush, shush. My house is my, not my, blended. My, 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 my house is <laughs> pale. <laughs> Your house is pale. Yeah, Matt, Maddie's like generic white guy number one. <laughs> no, literally, my, my that... house, my house is literally like the the house that's made fun of on TikTok for their terrible size. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about how white um Matt is right now. What time did you eat dinner? I Tell me like three. At... Um, five, four, oh, okay. five. Nah, you weren't no, that, that white we because you know we ate at like three yeah. o'clock. No. If you're white, if you're white, you have Thanksgiving dinner at one o'clock or two. Two thirty, uh, you know three o'clock. Mad Thank friends. you. Mad friends. Mad, mad friends. Yo, it's funny because they would have they would have dinner at two o'clock, but then have their dessert at seven. Like, I, 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 I had them away. Gap it, od. Like, just cause they I was home by seven. My co- my Colombian ass had dinner at seven thirty. Exactly, like a normal that's what human being. Exactly, because you have to drink before you eat. Like There's a, a build up. Normal right. human being. I was going home well, getting ready for bed, and all my friends were like, "Look what I just prepared," and I'm yeah. like, "You didn't eat yet? What yeah, the fuck?" Yeah, exactly. I remember. I remember. I remember. Me and Red went to um, a RageWorks uh, holiday. No, no, barbecue a year ago, and must be I nice. Kid, I kid you not. I kid you not. The party <laughs> was all day. The party was all day, but then. Like at the end when everyone was about to leave, right? Right? Remember the the Dominicans started drinking. Like they started partying at eight. Like they yeah. were they were inside that they were inside the house. They were, no, they were inside the house all day. They were inside the house all day, and then when it hits like when it got dark, they were like, all right, who's drinking? Who's drinking? I'm like, oh my. Mi gente, my. oye, pre- trae presidente, mi gente, coño. Yo, and they, and they were like forcing me and Red to stay. Like you stay, you stay. We drink and party. I'm like, I was here since one. No, 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 no. Latinos are like vampires. The party don't stop till the sun go down, bro. Listen, last night before I was yeah. before I left to work, all I heard was the the Mexicans in the back. They were playing their music at fucking. It was twelve o'clock. It was twelve thirty. That's why I put on on Facebook. I said, if if you're gonna be anything in life, you be the tuba player in a Mexican band. That's what you got. And Rondo knows because he knows the shit. But yeah, Matt, did you have um grapes in your potato salad or raisins? The grapes? Uh, no, I don't know no. why people say that put some weird you know shit I'm, in I'm, I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna blow someone on blast right now. Henry, I'm disappointed in you. You made tuna casserole, you white ass motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not even that white. He didn't even do his mic drop. He took the headphones off. He's like, Henry, you suck. Like, I don't fuck you. Henry, made tuna casserole. You're not even Latino, bro. <laughs> Henry made tuna casserole. Did it look good? Did you put yeah. sasong in it? Did you put adobo he, in it? He put adobo in that shit. You know? <laughs> that shit looked. It looked good. It looked good, but I'm saying like, hmm. Okay. Which by the way, which by the way, uh, I'm also disappointed in Henry because he did not call it. He did not call it penny. Penny once. He called it roast pork shoulder every time, yo. He never. He didn't call it penny once. <laughs> What? <laughs> he didn't call me. He didn't. Yo, Rondo knew exactly what I'm talking about. Rondo, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yo, he, I got the he, same he, shit. Yo, 
Oh, he posted it. He posted it ten times, and every single time he said roasted pork shoulder. Get the fuck out of here, Mr. Politically Correct. Fuck you. Uh, you gotta pull his Latino card, right, Rondo? That's it, bro. It's, it's like a, it. it's like a I'm driver's license. It. His Latino card is suspended for thirty days. <laughs> oh, he's done. Go sit he's in the corner and think about what you've done. It's not even coquito. It's like it's a mixture of coconut milk and, <laughs> and, yeah, and it rum. Puerto Rican eggnog. Uh, exactly. That's what. That's, <laughs> what, that's, what, that's exactly what he should have called. He should call it Puerto Rican eggnog. Nog. What is it? It's a Puerto Rican coconut nog. <laughs> like Henry really made me think. Like, what the fuck is going on over here, yo? Like, uh, before you know, we what? could, before we continue, welcome everybody to another episode of Turnbuckle Tabloid. I'm your host, Mitch, the ear to the mat, the king of talk style, and that's always the cheap thrill, Jay the Red Santé. And I am the Mook with the mic. I am the Funko Hub. I am Matthew Wolski. And since we have family here, Rondo, let it go. I am. Please feel free to call you call me my liege, John MF and Bearded Wonder Rondo, baby. And wow, that's hot. And madam, you can introduce yourself. I don't have a cool like like shabam. Make type. one. No, I'll, no. Next time I'm coming with fucking music. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole and a DJ, bitch, better known as a bitch. Yeah, right? I'm she gonna have so, that shit. She, I need background music. You People guys need to know when I enter a fucking room. You guys are stepped she on an intro. Come on. It's, it's, it's all right. Guys, right, 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 hold on. I, I, I have a title for her. The one who hates dancing with the stars. Oh, is that going to be a topic of conversation this week? Because we can fucking go. The uh, Sasha no, 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 Banks no, no, no. breakdowner. <laughs> like... yeah, actually, have, you know what? For, for Nicole, we have 16 hours be. of wrestling to cover. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we uh, can't deal no. with Dancing with the Stars right now. We got so much wrestling to cover. It kind of has to do with wrestling, though, because Nikki Bella like basically bribed people to vote for Nikki her Bella man. Nikki Bella begged There's... people to vote for her mans. She's like, I can't be the only one making money in this house, mom. Yo, like, you got to vote for my baby daddy because Taylor's <laughs> To. Look there at this go. baby there that I go. had with this man who got no fucking money living in my house. I swear it was the <laughs> it was the only time in the history of Dancing with the Stars that I was watching it, and it had to be on the night where everybody was the most disappointed at the results of the finale. And I was like, I'm glad I was part of this. This was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> that shit. That shit. That, that, that shit turned into a novella. Tell a novella mad quick. I was like, what the fuck is going on, bro? And then Nicole gave me the. Nicole, Nicole violated me in the comments. I'm like, wow. Because, you had, okay, because like my Facebook you... status said, to, because all, I was like, um, <laughs> that Caitlyn Bristow basically won because all your motherfuckers jerking off in your mother's basement voted for yeah, Artem you... because Nikki said to. And Matt made a face. I'm like, okay, you I feel didn't called disagree. out. So I didn't did disagree. Hold I didn't disagree. Hold up made a I comment did... too. But the day after, did... so we knew he got tired from the night before. The funniest no, thing. I, didn't, I, I didn't disagree. My gif was more like, <laughs> wow, that escalated mad quick. <laughs> uh, I was pissed. <laughs> Yes. That wasn't me just agreeing. It was just me I going, oh my. Was, but you know for, what? Th for those who don't know a little bit on her personal page. It Which is, you don't, uh, and don't friend me. Please yeah. stop fucking <laughs> friend requesting me. For the love of God, I don't know you fucking people. No, right? the best part about it is that she jumps on the Turbuckle Tabloid page and it makes a comment. She does a poll and everybody and their mother gets on this shit. It's like, this might be the chance I could get that. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Little do they know. Click, 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 click. Why am I doing a keyboard like people don't fucking use their phones to some answer you, shit? Some of y'all are in my DMs. I mean, it's, uh, it's, some of y'all are respectful. That's cool. Some of y'all are fucking pigs. Oh. Don't fucking message me. You know, they sending them they sending them D pics where it, it's dressed up like Macho Man Savage and shit like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm the that's a good man. one. No, Andre that's a good one. If you, put a sun, if you put sunglasses on it, it's a good one. It's a good one. No, the that's best, the, the best, the best one is... No, the best one is um, Andre the Giant with the side chops and the fucking afro. <laughs> Red. Red. I think, I think it's the, the Orange Cassidy with the sunglasses, but it's kind of just like laying there. You know, like kind of just... Oh, it's not really up or down. It's kind of just like... It automatically... You know, like slanted over. If your dick pic were a wrestler, who it, would it, it auto be? That's my yeah. next poll. Exactly. Half lip. Oh, that's, Half a good, lip. that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good poll. <laughs> Oh, that, and look at a double entendre. That's a good poll. You see, oh, yeah, depending on hey. his asses to men's dicks. Depending, fine. depending how you spell it. <laughs> so make sure you check us out on all media outlets. Check us out on the like group page on Facebook. As always, we were just mentioning it on uh, on uh, on the Facebook group page. We have the polls. We have the interactions. We have all that going down. Make sure you check us out there. And, uh, also, check sure uh, make sure you check us out on Instagram at Turnbuckle Tabloid Podcast, as well as on Twitter at. Turnbuckle tab. And be sure you check us out on Anchor, YouTube, and on all the other outlets such as Get Vocal. You get us at Turnbuckle Tabloid as well. And 
Download, stream, subscribe, and be a part of the Turnbuckle Tabloid uh, progression and uh, process when you go to Spotify, Google Play. Google, oh no, Google Play is actually getting eliminated. So all your stuff, if you got Google Play, they just moving all your shit to YouTube Music. So be ready for that oh. shit. It's, it's closing down. <laughs> but if you have podcasts, it's going to Google Podcasts. So make sure you guys check us out there as well, as well as... Um, and if you I have photos, heart. pay for those shits now before you lose them. Exactly. No, no, but it's just a Google Play. Um... No, it's everything because I have Google Photos, and they said like if you don't have like the if you're not paying for their service, right? You're you're beat. Oh my god! Like, they sent me an email, but I pay for my shit. Oh, so yeah, so make sure you transfer if I, everything. If I, I pay for yours. <laughs> <laughs> Young Maddie's like, what about mine? I gotta get everything as well. So, guys, make sure you check us out there on all the podcasting outlets as well. And if you're not, you go to RageWorksNetwork.com. That's where you get all the the the, the podcasting uh, extravaganzas that happen under the RageWorks brand. You get Call Me When It's Over, Black is New Black, Toys and Text, Trek Untold. And, of course, you get us here at Turbocal Tabloid at RageWorksNetwork.com. And make sure you check us out at RageWorks.net for articles that pertain to all things that is relevant in the culture that we live in. And that culture is pop culture. You got video games, movies, TV shows, comic books. It's all there. For you guys out there that was trying to get the PS5s doing Black Friday. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck with that shit. <laughs> you got, yeah. No, no, no offense. Y'all tight, like. Yo, Matt, is that thing really as big as you? Because I saw you unveiling and I was like, what the fuck? That's uh, what she said. Did Matt just buy a house? It's right. It's right. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's, it's right right here. It's fucking huge. No, for what I saw in comparison, is it's about the size of the PS2. Was... It's not really that big. No, it's big. Is it? Yo, it looked like Matt bought like a fucking little tyke's house for his backyard. <laughs> it's like it's a, it's a dollhouse for it. It's big. It's it's a big boy. But, but it's like but it, you know what? Like people are texting me crying. Oh, I didn't get one. It's gonna restock, and you're gonna get one. Like 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 Red said, it's not a, it it'll come. It'll no, come. dude, I died because. But can I, like, I need to be an asshole for a second? But like, are you afraid to get like you're not afraid to get it first? If, like there's like a glitch or something that's gonna like fuck it up. Nah, just because um, I, I bought the PS4 on launch too, and I didn't have any problems with it. If if there's a problem, it, it'll I'd be fixed with a patch or. If it fucks up, then I bought the warranty just in case. So, oh, okay. Uh, I, I I I had to because. Oh, you did the smart white people thing because Hispanics never, we never buy. I never do it either, but like, we just blame it. Spanish people, no, he just said Spanish people don't buy anything. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. (laughs) Exactly. No, they took it from the white kid that was walking out of place. Yeah. We, we, we don't, we, what we do is we don't buy insurance. We just blame the motherfucker who broke it. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's all we do. All right. Exactly. Nah, Fuck it. I buy a new one, motherfucker. Fuck this bullshit. This is the only time I did a warranty on, a, on some, like, something before because it's like, I just want to be careful, but I've had no problems so far. No problems. It's, no, uh, I, I, I laugh because, you know, shout out to my bro, uh, my, my, I always forget how I phrase it. Little big, big brother. Big little big brother. Big, big little brother. No, big, little, little, little big brother. Little big brother because he's he's my little brother, but he's bigger than me by a lot. Uh, <laughs> little big brother D, he, he plugged me to a, a website that tells you exactly how much is in stock in every store. Yeah, the so stock, yeah. I wanted there's a there's a GameStop up the block for my job, so I was like, you know, I could go out there and see what I, you know, if I could find something. So about three mm-hmm. thirty in the morning, I, I took a walk out there to see. It was already around the corner. It was about twenty five thirty people that was out there. I was like, oh. ridiculous. <laughs> but on on that website, it it said, yeah, there's only two. So I was yeah, like, no, hmm, yeah, yeah, no, each not each gonna GameStop happen. Two. Each GameStop got two PlayStations and eight Xboxes. That's so yep. I went to go check, right? I went to go check. In the morning after I got out of work, I went to the guy, and the guy that I that works there is he used to work on the one close to us. So I go to the check, and he see he recognized me. And he goes, "Hey, yeah, 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 you're coming." In. He, you know, he's a little weirdo. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, you're coming in." I say, "No, no, no, no. I, I, I already know the deal." I said, "But by the way, how many PS5s did you have?" He said, "We only had two. I was like, "Yep, thank you, thanks. That just just wanted to know. Just wanted to know." I walked in. I went to GameStop today to pick up a, <clears throat> a few things for the sale tonight, mm-hmm. and. The guy, three people ran in the store. They didn't walk. They ran in the store and said, please, I've been to five GameStops already. Please tell me you have the PlayStation. And the girl goes, no, really? we sold out. He goes, ah, ah. <laughs> He was like, I've been going everywhere. Oh. He was like, come on. He his tears. And he asked me, he was like, please, do you have a PlayStation? I'm like, yeah, I'm not selling it, though. 
the fuck? Man, that's so, so sad. Oh. So he lost it. He was like, I've been everywhere. He goes, do you at least have a Nintendo Switch? I'm like, wow, you mad, Did they have bro. the Switch, though? They should have had the Switch. They, 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 they did have the Switch. Yeah. Oh, okay. They that they should have had, though. They should have gave but him that... the... They should have gave him the half ass switch that is like, yeah, you can't disconnect the Joy Cons. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. You can't. Oh, the, the Switch Lite, whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. That's not bad, though, for like. You can't for, like, disconnect it, but gamers. it comes in like this pretty coral. <laughs> yeah, it comes in a nice color. Well, you can get it in turquoise green. You could get it in fuchsia. Your kid's not going to hear um... that they can't play with a friend because it's yellow. <laughs> Which I do want to make a quick announcement that uh, the game, I actually bought a game on Restock today. Did uh, you? It was the game. It, it, it was the game that my ex-girlfriend stole from me after she broke up with me. So go fuck yourself. Yeah, bitch. I rebought it. I re yeah, that, that shows her. I rebought it when I could have just went and got it back from you. Nah, they don't want shit from that bitch. It's probably like contaminated it's, and whatnot. It's fuck her. It's that game got it's COVID. It's, contam it's contaminated with regret and disappointment. So I don't want that. I'm good. <laughs> Here's to you, bitch. Look at Ronda. Yeah, cheers, ba fangu. Ba fangu. I bought it. Yo, it's usually sixty bucks. I bought it for fifteen. So she you can know send what? Me a Sa to salute, this motherfucker. No. <laughs> Salute, bitch. And, uh, and you know how you get it back? You buy the video game and you lose fucking 40 pounds. That's how you get it back. That's how you get them back, dude. 40? <laughs> Call that 100. Five. Fuck you. <laughs> I hope you get bullshit no, in your stock. We're not going to say the things that Wait we want her to get. It's not 100 because... pounds you lost. I started at 275 and now I'm 180. So around. Close Jesus I, Christ. I, I, yeah, yeah. Plus, I'm, I'm, I'm plus done, the other two hundred pounds though. he lost when he dropped her ass. That's two fifty. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> now that's a Christmas miracle. Fuck Rondo, out of here. Let's Rondo, how much you lose. lost? Uh, eighty-four pounds. Now. And wow. I gained everything that they lost. Yeah. So did I. Yes, yes. <laughs> I find. I find. COVID. Yes. <laughs> you look. You look wonderful, Maddie, darling. Maddie. What up? COVID. Yeah, COVID. <laughs> and that's exactly what both of you are using your right hand. So, in any case, so um, on this wow, week's episode, <laughs> on this week's episode, I'm a switch hitter, red. I'm a switch hitter. <laughs> on, I'll throw something. No, at him. don't worry. You got to do what you call it. You have to do uh, on what's it? The stranger. Make sure you sit on your hand for about thirty minutes, and then you know magic oh, happens. God, he's old. He has to go back and forth. He needs both. Burp, burp, burp. He tires himself out real quick using one hand. He's got to use both. Fucking I'm your, on an AARP. The 40s are fucking terrible. I'm on an AARP regimen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't Old, get but it's still the works. for that. So, guys, uh, this week's episode, we have cutting a promo. Cutting a promo this week is one where we've been beating around a bush to get to. We've been talking about it, but things been popping up. This week, we, we finally discuss on episode 200. We have gotten to 200. Who the fuck knew that this would happen? That's a big milestone. That is a big milestone. That's because what you and Rondo were part. Exactly. Right, Rondo? You, you guys bring the numbers, baby. We bring the numbers. Bring the numbers. Yeah, absolutely. So much uh, love, man. Well, well uh, before we could, you know, because I, I always do the rundown like we're still doing a one shot episode. Episode two hundred will be cutting a promo. Cutting a promo will be. Uh, when did I start hating wrestling? But it's not really <laughs> that. I just wanted that title, but. My whole premise of this is when people decided to veer away from wrestling. When did it stop being entertaining or fun or it's not real to me, damn it, anymore? So I, I, I wanted to do a conversation with that and see if uh, we get outside parties to, to tell us. And there's also when did you jump back? You know, that's the big part. When did you come back to it? My loser ass never left. I just was like there for the longest Here. time. I, I, did, I actually took a small break. Did you take a small break? I did, and uh, I did. I'll tell you when during cutting a promo, but I, I took like a year break. I took a year or two break. Okay, we'll discuss that as well as uh, we have for Wrestling Rundown. Uh, as always, news, stories, and stuff that uh, go comes down the pike and which we, we, we talk shit about. And it's just us in the middle just spilling tea and gossiping. That's just what we do here. Also, we have Around the Square Circle where we discuss what went down during wrestling during the week, as well as this week's conversation for episode 200 will be little bit and Rondo and myself will visit we'll be discussing just random a potpourri of things just uh 
our love for wrestling, the connection that we made with it, and it's just it's just a family group. And because apparently, oh, we get rid of you and me and Rondo just take over the show like we should have done like a that, year ago. Yeah, that's exactly what you guys. <laughs> isn't that what you guys wanted to do during like the the the, the three year anniversary and shit? And then COVID oh, happened, yeah. and then Rondo got stuck COVID in Long Island. Like three weeks after. Exactly. Yeah, while while Oski goes over there and sells little people. Uh, listen, bro. I gotta, gotta, <laughs> gotta, gotta help, gotta help the community out. You know what I'm saying? Little people at a time. Give yourself a cheap, uh, a cheap freaking plug and tell people where they could get your, um, your, your podcast and such. Sure. What's going on, guy? Well, Funko Hub on Instagram at the Funko Hub, and you can follow my podcast on Spotify and RageWorksPodcast.com at the Funko Hub Popcast. Episode two is out now, where we discuss pop rocks, our favorite musicians, and. Uh, what it means to be turned into a pop. So we have that episode out now, and then my uh, my sales about to start in an hour. So you're not gonna, it's gonna be done by the time you hear this shit. You were you were um you were turned into a pop, which is cool. Oh, amazing! And I put the Funko Hub sticker on it. Uh, I, which I gotta give you guys give you guys stickers by the way. I'll bring them someone tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I turn, uh, <laughs> thanks thanks to my boy Red over here making a pop of my he popped me. Po- that sounds Ooh. wrong, but he popped Ooh. me. It's never wrong when you say it like that, sweetie. Jesus fucking Ooh, Christ. It's let's never get wrong. it, baby. It's never wrong. So, guys, don't go, to- after hours. don't go anywhere. Stick around. We will return. Check you guys in a sec. The family's here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, for the- pop, it's, it's Thanksgiving here at Turnbuckle Tabloid. Yeah. See you guys in a sec. Thanksgiving.
took me and my brother jumped out of a window to escape. What's next? I got older, turned older. She couldn't handle two, so when I got arrested, she handed me over to the state. Now my mental state is killing me, killed. I'm out on my own. Time to sharpen up all the street skills. I said that to say this that I regret being abusive. And I'm just here making up excuses to get away, get away. I'm just trying to get away. The facade is vanity. Live in large humanity, stay in control of your sanity. My sanctuary, sanitary, no vultures or canaries. I'm in that little house on the prairie. Pray for me, blinded from all I see. Left the path, come see who I chose to be. After five cups of tea, find me yelling at the sea. Break the mental chain so I could be free. Walk through life with no regrets. Don't blame me, blame the architect. When Respect, form a line to nowhere, and it's all right to show fear, cause we really not clear, life's not an absolute equation, science to the scriptures, we paint a bigger picture, and all we understand, we don't understand, there's no need for hate, can't trust the evolution of hate, in the evolutionary mind we can escape, you can't change time, but through our collective travel through time, we can find a state of mind to be proud of, there ain't birth and war. These kids are thinkers, sugar bear, this words of the honeycomb. There's some known knowns, some known unknowns, and some unknown unknowns. This is Mel the Blind Fury, formerly known as Mel Sanchez, and you're listening to the Turnbuckle Tabloid. Give me a fucking mic! Turnbuckle Tabloid, cutting a promo. Cutting a promo, ladies and gentlemen. On this Thanksgiving post show, <laughs> where leftovers <laughs> are pretty much stocked filled. How are you filling your gullet? What are we having? Are we having ham sandwiches, turkey sandwiches, penis sandwiches, or as Henry would say, what is it, uh, Matt, he said? Roasted pork shoulder. <laughs> Puerto Rican Come style. On. I got to call on, him man. out on that shit. So I got to go on, on son. That. Come Puerto on, Puerto son. Rican style. Don't forget Puerto Rican style. Puerto Rican style roasted pork. And what 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 should be called coqui and coquito in his Puerto Rican eggnog. <laughs> Shout out to Jason. Coconut nog. <laughs> Where's Jason? Is Jason here? <laughs> hey, I, hey, check if he's. Hey, be, you should check on my dude. CDs coming Come up on, Henry. Works, Come on, so Henry. Oh. Coconut nog. Be better, Henry. Be better. <laughs> so we discussed this week. When did we start to hate wrestling? And um, I I I I was I was having conversations with with people at my job and. It, I, it always leads down to when they ask me what my podcast is about, and I tell them it's, it's a wrestling podcast. The first two things that they go is, well, you know that's fake, right? Oh, well, of course. Of, of course. course. And to this day, you hear this, and I'm like, yeah, you know Captain America really doesn't throw a shield like that, right? Uh, no, stop. Don't ruin the dream. <laughs> um, you know Thanos really didn't eliminate half the universe, right? No, like, I didn't watch up. these movies it's... yet. Don't give it away. <laughs> She's still it's catching called, up, sir. It's called Entertainment. Uh, Rhonda, when you when you hear people when you tell people that you're into wrestling, what's the first thing they tell you? What they yeah, ask the you? Thing is like you know it's fake, right? I'm like, uh, yeah. I'm like, General Hospital is real though, right? <laughs> you know that guy in the porn video you watch? Yeah, he's wow. not really like that all the time. Sad. Any case, uh, <laughs> so that's one. And the other, the what? other one, fake is... taxi's really fake. <laughs> <laughs> COVID is fake too. Oh shit! Oh, really get out. So I'm, I'm leaving the chat. We're gonna get canceled, bro. Chill. <laughs> so... The views and expressions of Turnbuckle Tabloid. <laughs> the views expressed on this Turnbuckle. <laughs> so then the other one is, yep. um, man, I remember I used to watch that too. Yo, you know who was my man? I used to love her. So there, there is a degree where people they leave. Yeah. And when is it that they leave? Uh, before the mics went on, we we were discussing our point in time where, you know, we had we had our moments. Um, Oski actually shocked me with his his uh his moment where he left or he almost was about to leave. Oski, when was it that you had that moment when it was time to go? Uh, <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> it's funny because it sounds like you're leaving a girlfriend, but it, it, it kind of is. It's like when it, when do you know it was time to go? Um, <laughs> what a time to... Oh, we're talking about her again. No. Oh Jesus Christ! No, 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 no. That's no. what. Hold on. Saying, hold like, on. It, it's... <laughs> you just want to press buttons. Welcome. I do. Welcome. I do. Uh, Beep. No, nah, but like. I think I think that goes for anything though. There comes a time where it becomes stale. It becomes too much. Like, I'm watching it every week. It's gotta it's gotta come to a time where it gets boring. And for me, it was in 2009, 2009, 2010. What were you like? PG six? Era, like holy. The PG. Shut the. F- Yo, I can't say shit, right? You're gonna flame me. You're gonna flame. That's what it is. Leave him alone. Sorry. You're crazy, bro. I I remember I remember when. In 2008, okay. around when like Sean and John Cena fought, like when Sean was a part of DX, and I was loving it, and then all of a sudden it went to the celebrity guest hosts, and it went to the, uh, it went to the childish storylines, and I literally just didn't want to watch anymore. I and also my, I was also being told from my friends at school, oh, like it's getting boring, like it's it's done, it's gonna die out. So I kind of just like I kind of stepped to the side and gave it a break uh, because I think th- but I think we need a break from everything once in a while. Yeah. Too much of everything just sucks. It's uh, like like if I play my PS5 all day, I'm gonna start hating it. I, I, gotta, I gotta give it. I gotta, I gotta give things a break. But for me, once it became PG era, like once Batista left and everything like that, and the reason why Batista left was because it became PG. Once I found that out, I was like, oh, they're going childish shit. Oh, I'm not watching this. And I took a few months off. And then I came back right when Team Hell No was about to start up. Oh, okay. So it's it's fairly recent, but not that recent. Okay, I get that. Oh, for guys, if you want to chime in, the phone numbers is up. 315-371-4367. Phone line is open. 315-371-4367. Yo, no joke. Once Vince McMahon fell off the fucking... If, once Vince almost died... <laughs> Once Vince, once Vince almost died from that million dollar fucking phone call shit, I was like, yeah, I'm over Which, this. Which, by the way, how many of us try to try to call in? I did, but that was too young I, at the time. Ronald, did you try to call in? I definitely tried to call in. Honestly, that was that that point right there was the equivalent of this, the uh, the virtual seat, the Thunderdome. Thunderdome! Like, oh, you couldn't get in for shit. <laughs> Ronald, is there any way you can raise your mic up a little bit? Um, yes. Right. Yeah, actually, I just gotta get. There we go. Good. Um, little bit. When? When? Well, first of all, did you ever try to call in during that whole win the million dollars from WWE? From the- I, I probably not. Probably not. A million dollars sweepstakes. Remember? When, remember when someone called and they instantly hung up and they like they prank called him? <laughs> <laughs> Baba Booey! Baba Booey! Baba Booey! Baba Booey! Baba Booey! Made the standard there. Okay. <laughs> All right. The uh, fact was, caller. the fact was that they tried to run it live was the best of that. I yep. watched those episodes of Raw just for that because I know it was a it was a train wreck. Because first of all, live always leads to shit. Yeah. Then the next thing is that you have a a fucking old codger trying to run technology. He's like, oh. What uh, should I push this button? <laughs> it would uh, have been like Kevin Dunn. It was a train. It was a train wreck. And during that time, I was just starting to get bored. And I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna talk about it later. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm going kind of going through that right now. Oh, you really? I, 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 I'm not gonna stop watching. But every single week, it's the same. <laughs> if you stop watching, you're out of a fucking job. I'm just talking I'm, about I'm right out of now. a job. I, I can't you know, stop watching. But like, you guys cannot, like you guys cannot disagree with me that, that <laughs> the past couple of weeks, per maybe month, it's just been like, okay, <laughs> I'm getting real over this. Ronda like, laughs. I, I, he goes, <laughs> he's out of a job. You know, I could still, I could do that, right? I could still do that. Right? <laughs> book me, book me. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> but Rondo, Rondo, you can't tell me that right now. Um, I, I think no crowds have to have have, have a part. I think no crowds have have a part. I think that uh, there there are factors to this. But am I wrong to say that uh, that lately it's just been like I'd rather be watching Fake Taxi than fucking wrestling right now? I, it's getting stale for me. Too much of it. Too much. Every week is eight five shows a week. I'm getting sick and tired of it. It's it's like it, it's an oversaturation, honestly. Um, because I, I mean, you have so much going on. You have, you know, not only do you have AEW, but you also have fifteen thousand WWE programs. Uh, you also have uh, New Japan, who's still putting content out there, and you know all this other stuff. Even indie indie shows are starting to get, you know, uh, pulled with internet companies and stuff too. So 
it's an oversaturation of the market, which is, I mean, it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing, you know. A little bit. Did you um? Did you come to that that moment where you just stopped watching? It was like now. Then like <laughs> just like like now. Like right now. No, I I kind of like I, I don't even like I was telling you I really don't even remember. I might have been in high school, like right after, like I, maybe like my fresh, my, not my freshman year, somewhere like a, towards the end of high school, I kind of <gasps> fell off, and I just stopped watching. And then maybe I wasn't recording it. Maybe it's maybe I wasn't hanging out with Jason. I don't know. I really don't even know when the hell I stopped. And then I started dating a guy who was like, oh, I watch wrestling. I was like, oh, I used to watch wrestling. And Monday nights, we started watching Raw. And it was like, and that's when it came back. I mean, he, I don't talk to him anymore, but the wrestling stayed. But now it's like, again, it's too much. I'm literally like, I, yeah, I watch it at work. I, I, can't, I, I, try to stay, I try to watch it on Mondays. It's literally the same fucking show. I'm getting over exhausted. Over I'm again. getting exhausted. I, it's honestly I'm getting the same to the point shit. where... I'm getting to the point where I'm watching Raw, SmackDown, and like and, 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 and like all the, the weekly shows, and I'm just getting s- fucking exhausted. I watch like NXT and AEW this morning. Fatigue? I really am because you know what? I want to know why? Because it's getting so predictable that what's the point of me even watching this? Every single story, there's nothing surprising going on. It's the same shit. Every fucking week, Raw has the same three segments: Alexa Bliss and Bray Wyatt, the Her Business, and fucking and Keith Lee and AJ Styles. Every fucking week, it's the same thing. But wait and that's a minute, why back on. in two. But you, but you also got you just this past year, you had a new promotion that's on the networks right now. Even and that, it's not we're doing not, that well. Wouldn't that be a breath of fresh air for you guys? No, no. it's not doing that well. All AEW it's is doing not. is trying to push limits with how many wor- bad words they can <laughs> say. Like, I swear like, about every segment like... is just somebody being a gangster trying to see how far they can go with the four-letter words. Like, Taz is shit this week. They're little. They're literally like a middle school kid, like, that just learned how I to curse. I can curse? curse. Just trying fuck, to curse shit, every fuck, day. Shit, fuck. <laughs> You know what it reminds like, me of, and and probably Rondo will probably maybe be the only one that knows it. Maybe, maybe little bit will know about it. Um, remember when uh, ABC had the the cop show NYPD Blue? Yes. Yep. And mm-hmm. you always waited to either. You know, it was a great show. It was a really good show if you watched it. But you always waited to a when they can cuss during that time, or b oh, yep. somebody was gonna be semi nude if they're gonna show a side boot or an ass. That yep. was the only time you were, you go, okay, the show's good, but is somebody going to say fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that, and that's what AEW seems to be it was these like days. When they first mm-hmm. a douchebag on SVU. I was like, we can say that now. <laughs> yeah. It's after the nine o'clock witching hour. We can say, uh, shithead. No, Yay! Like, I used well, to agree with Olski, though, was- with the whole Bryant thing, though. Like, I like, especially with Bliss. I like, love I get it. It. No, it's a I love repetitive it. I love thing. It. I get it's repetitive, but, like, that's, like, even the Hurt Business. Yes, because that's what's bringing in something new. But at the same time, it's like you've got, like, these fucking, like, like literally, it's three good segments, and then the rest, it, the fucking show is three hours. Only how 30 many times, minutes of it is exciting. How many, it's the same old shit. One, how many times in one calendar year, or in one calendar month, am I going to see... Seth Rollins versus one form of Mysterio. Jesus yeah, it's it's uh, it's the Christ. same. It's the same. It's like, it's like it's like turning on your TV and pressing random on a movie, and you get the same movie every time. It's like no, I want to watch something else. It gets to the point where think about it, think about this. Okay, we work, we get out of work at a certain time. We have very little us time to spend during that time before you go to work tomorrow. But guess what? Monday, I'm watching Raw during that time. Wednesday, I'm watching NXT and AEW during that time, and SmackDown mm-hmm. is on Fridays. I am wrestled out. It's like going, on, out. It's like going on chat roulette, and every time you go click to see somebody or find out where it's at, and, and, and somebody's beating their meat. <laughs> and it's the same guy being, beating it. Like, God damn it, man. No, but I no, thought that's random. Get, off, get off my page. I mean, let's go to the... Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, you're an asshole. I'm not going to add impact Rondo's like, this. it's the same guy that's doing it. <laughs> like, I'm not going to add impact because I don't watch it. So let's go. Let's just talk three WWE point, shows in AEW. But you see... That what it, are you watching? If you had to pick one show to watch all week, which is the most entertaining show and the most unpredictable show that if you had to say, I had to cut out three other shows, what are you going to watch and on what day? Okay, Chicago and, PD. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> Chicago PD. I'm two weeks Jeopardy. behind on that, which Jeopardy. means I haven't started this season. So I okay. know Atwater's fucked though. Okay, now this, <laughs> now, now here now, now and this and I'm glad that you brought that up because that comes into play as well. And this is just the modern yeah. stuff. This is the, the the stuff that we we're 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 bringing into us as wrestling fans now. Yes, now we have a plethora of uh, of shows that we are watching, <laughs> which intervenes in our wrestling time. Before years ago, we didn't have all these fucking shows as all. We didn't have all these outlets. We didn't have the Hulu's, the Netflix, the Tubies. We didn't have all this shit so that we could watch all these shows. Now it's like shit. I gotta catch up on fucking on um, Blacklist yeah. before I fucking can watch Raw. It's, you, you, ask me, yeah. ask me if I've ask me if I've started the Boys yet. I haven't. Ask me if I started the Mandalorian yet. I haven't. I haven't so why? Because I have to watch Keith Lee every week. You see, but now I you know. Okay, we're, because I, that's I, your job. We're, gonna, we're not going <laughs> to talk, you know we're not gonna talk you know about the show I wasn't show? allowed to watch you know on Monday. But... show on cable? What's that? OVW. Oh, you're talking about Ohio Valley? Yeah. No, OV, even sorry. OVW has a show on fucking and Rondo, I'm, And Rondo, that's a good point. And I'm sorry to the MLWs and the Impacts and the, and the NWAs. You're irrelevant to me any, at this point. I, there's so much wrestling during the week that fuck you, okay? Uh, fuck you. I'll watch your notes after, okay? I'm, I can't. Which it sucks, sucks because be when, it's when not a bad say, product. When you, say, when you say things like that, like NWA was like, NWA was a little magical, and it sucks that it was that, great. that happens because like I well, totally well, get it. Well, COVID, well, COVID killed that because they weren't yeah. able to con- yeah, uh, compete. Yeah, but there's just so much wrestling that and I, it's, I have it's to stuff, prioritize it now. Yeah, but it's also a thing that we, if. All right, in that and like I said, in modern ways, yes, that hurt us not watching wrestling because COVID happened and progressive mm-hmm. shows that were, were were on our radar weren't able to keep up with an AEW or WWE because finance wise. So now when they're making right. a comeback, it's like oh fuck, it's like shit. I want to watch this, but I really can't. It's it's tough. Yep. It's, well, it's that's what happened with me with New Japan. Like, New Japan started doing shows again, and I'm like, well, I don't even have the attention span for this right now. You know, with everything going on, I still have to catch up with AEW and NXT and, you know, all, all the NXT UK. You know, that's probably going to be NXT Japan next year. JD's like, like, like Impact? Crazy. Really? That's a fucking train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which, by the way, if he's on, he's watching, right? He is watching. All right. Should, should I show it? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Uh, for you guys who are I out can't there. see you so uh, oh, I know I'm, I'm, but that's alright I'm, I'm showing off my plates thank you and your family sir thank you thank you for amazing my secret day. Santas <laughs> they're my secret Santas amazing so um, to me it's become to a point to where the product it's not that it's sh- it, it's not that it's good and we're just missing it to watch other things it's right. that it's becoming that it's not captivating anymore. And that's where the problem is. Cause I would miss everything. Fuck. The only thing back in my time, which was not too long ago that I would not watch wrestling for would be sports. That's the only okay. thing I, I wouldn't miss. Facts. Wrestling for. That's true. If the NBA playoffs mm-hmm. are on, I'm sorry. NBA playoffs take priority for me. And, and, Sorry. and that's the only other than that it was wrestling down the line and I bet I'll catch everything because we have the DVRs we have you know whatever we watch later we, we, we whatever mm-hmm. whatever outlets we go to but these days I think it's more as of now it's and I have to say it's the product itself if you don't if you if you're if you're not if you're watching wrestling consistently on a entitled like a, like a a total loop if you're if you're that 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 wrestling fan, and you're watching the New Japan's, the 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 the, the impacts. You're watching the MLWs and all that, and the Ring of Honor's on on a loop. It's because you don't have anything else you're interested that's in. Watch, yeah. It's real. It's it's a and I kind of I kind of think that's weird. <laughs> Am I wrong? It is. It's weird. It is. No, it is. Yeah, it's weird. Kinda. It's um, like that's the only thing you find entertaining. That's not. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's but what about you watch House? You don't watch House. <laughs> I love House. I love House. House would have cured COVID. Oh, house <laughs> exactly. Oh, house house, house would have definitely killed COVID. Give the man some Viking. What are you talking about? He always, he always finds the solution in the 29th minute. So <laughs> December 30th. No, 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 no. He solution. finds the solution in the 29th minute. By minute 35, it's like he fucked up. And then by minute 43, he goes, wait, 
this is what I missed. You didn't yep. check his but, ass. <laughs> I love House. House was a great show. That's one of my dad's favorites. Uh, like, okay, Decem- December 30th is when we're going to get the solution. Check right? his ass. <laughs> check his ass. Always was <laughs> Let's go. That's going to be the tagline for the show. With House, check his check ass. His ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, so what, but that's that's the modern day version of us saying and uh, you know what this it is this might be a time for us to check out and i'm gonna be honest mm-hmm. with you it's probably mm-hmm. something that you guys uh probably would be shocked to hear but i've gotten to a point numerous times where i go maybe we can do another podcast <laughs> <laughs> I go like, you ain't lying though why do you think i, why you think I had the funko hub idea listen it's, it's, you gotta change it up bro. i need an outlet uh, for something else i have the soundcloud thing here and there i was thinking about the other thing but at, bring back trss you know what i'm saying i can go back to my sports when it happens but it's to just me- so much wrestling now it's way too much and it's almost to the point where you're just like you know, should I just cover like one thing or should we do everything? You know, it's like, should I just watch WWE? Should I watch AW2? Should I just stick to one? You know, uh, like there's times here where I'm like, oh, Raw's on tonight. <laughs> but I, th- <laughs> but I, I think, like, for, no, but I, think I, I think for us too, especially when we do the podcast is we have a centralized way of when we, we, we share the show, how people listen to it. They, they have pretty much a, a rhythm of how our show goes. They, they, they know that we're we're not gonna be that broad. Listen, there's only enough time. And we're, hell, we had to split the fucking show up fucking twice a week, man. I mean, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it became, it, it, yeah. it became longer than Home Alone one and two combined. And let me tell you something. If I was getting paid eighty, ninety thousand a year or contractually to do a show like three or four times a week, oh, I best believe I would I would I would sit there and watch wrestling every fucking day. Oh, totally. Eyes wide open. But I, I, I'm i not. This is something that is done this way. you also don't have to anymore. It's not like... It was easy to fall off back in... what If you didn't have a DVR. Like, we didn't all have that shit back then. Right. We didn't all have real internet. You know, it was all that dial-up shit. Matt doesn't right. know nothing about dial-up. <laughs> but... You know, it was... No, Maybe I do, Nicole. Maybe I do. <laughs> no, listen. No, you don't. Maybe and let's I not do. pretend Matt. you do because you don't want to know about it. So, like, just forget that shit. What, what, Nobody what, wants to know about dialogue. What is it on? 50, was it 56K? What is it but called? It was, like, it was yeah. easy to fall off a of Raw because if you missed it, you fucking missed it. If you worked right. on a Monday, you missed Raw. That was it. You went to school. You went to work. You went wherever the fuck and you went everybody... on Tuesday. And if you had people who spoke about it, they spoke about it. If not, you found out next week what happened because right. you weren't looking it up everywhere. Right. Now, I don't watch War on Monday. What do I do? I go to work 8 o'clock Tuesday morning. I log into my Hulu or my USA Network or whatever the fuck, and boom, there it is. And, and this is the other thing. He has a point, though. It's easy access- It's easily accessible to everyone now. Like, like it, it, you could you could you could find a way to watch it whether it's on your phone or tablet or on your computer or and even if you miss it guess what got it recorded right if you if you missed it guess what you could watch it on fuck you could watch it on Hulu like since you could watch show- it on this shit it's always available to catch up on so now it's not as special for me but I I'm do sorry I- to say it, the WWE network killed pay per views that I is true so excited pay per views. Yeah, I, I used to be so excited for paper. I used to wake up every morning before school, run to my fucking um, dining room, and go on the WWE.com to see the results. Now it's like I'm basically watching it for free. No, it's, it, like it, not, no it's, it's not special anymore. But you know what's funny? You say that, and you, you're literally saying the person who invented pay per view killed pay per view. <laughs> um, yeah, he did. But you're dragging it out the same way you would drag out a Monday Night Raw. Like, you need to do what NXT TakeOver does. Come in, do a little, pl- like, this is the recap. Here's your fucking match. Here's a recap. Here's your match. They're literally putting these stupid fucking segments and all this little bullshit back and forth in the middle of a fucking pay-per-view. And it's like, I'm paying to watch this when I can just, and then again, yeah. you don't need turn to watch to pay-per-view right. You turn on Raw the next day. It used to be they didn't show you anything. Now they're, oh, mm-hmm. here's a clip from last night. Or wait, we have nothing to do this week. Here's the whole fucking match. What's the point of buying it? Hell, there's times yep. when I when I have to do the when I do have to do the show and I go shit, I, I forgot that to watch this or whatever. And I go to YouTube and I get the um, either you get the edited versions of the match, or mm-hmm. you get you get other uh, podcasts or, or YouTube channels who give you their reviews of what the match is. And I'll go cool. okay, let me listen to this, and then I go oh no, let me go back and watch it myself. You know, but what it, yeah. it gives me an idea of where to go to. Fuck, I listen to podcasts. And and I hear what their reviews of, of of matches go, and I go, really? Was it really that bad? And I have to go back and watch it because I missed it. And 
it's almost sounding like it's extra work, but it's also the kind of thing where since I'm a podcast guy, I go, shit, maybe I shouldn't have watched that fucking match. Like, why? Like, why, why did I do it? it WWE what is abortion. just doing too much at this point. Like, honestly. I, but I think Because it, it, it's like, we're okay, we're on Monday. We're on Wednesday. We're on Friday. Now, okay, NXT's got a pay-per-view. NXT UK has got a pay-per-view. Now we have to have a 37-hour fucking WrestleMania. It's too fucking much. Shout out to that punk Isaac. We love you too, Papa, who's watching right now. Thank you, sir. Love you, love Check you, love in. You, bye-bye. Um, Wait, Ben not naked yet? No, um, Ben, it's like 2 o'clock. At the, Ben's <laughs> so, last COVID. He's at, um, ben, ben is on Tuesday right now. He's in England, so it's like Tuesday over his Oh, yeah. No, he, he's celebrating Christmas right now. Exactly. But but even so, when you you get to that over fluctuation, because it's, we, we're talking, we're only talking about what we see mainstream. Wait, mm-hmm. wait till fucking indies start coming back. I'm good. Oh my god. Oh, it's horrible. That's your rodeo. Not yeah, mine. I'll be honest with you. When when House of Glory and indies come back, I'm cutting off a show during the week on that's TV. Why, Fuck that's why. That's why I didn't. I didn't know how you guys kept up. Whenever you guys did it, I could barely keep up. I was like, how yeah, we got to promote. Keep up. We got to promote. Kiss ass. Yeah, but at the work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plug, plug, plug. Pop, pop, pop. But yeah. the no. Yeah. What, no. no we have the, to sell. It's fine. But it's also thing to to with, with the indie shows is it's. It's an escape. We go out there because it's like for for the show. It's it's work for us too, but it's also fun. But it's also when you go to these indie shows, and Rhonda, you would know that you have the conversations with other fans who will put you in a loop of certain things. So that's true. That's yeah. how that's how you get in touch with certain promotions, certain things, uh, and that that pertain to other wrestlers, uh, 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 other other um, backstage shit. So that helped us, and that's to me. That's what made it more fun for me to be a wrestling fan. It was the indie scene shit. Mm-hmm. Because it's, I wanted to be, you know, like, we knew about Orange Cassidy way before he went on fucking All Elite. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, remember, right. I, I remember watching I remember re- uh, watching Red's first reaction to Orange Cassidy, and he was blown away in such a bad way. He wore two beers <laughs> for himself. He was like, fuck this. I was double <laughs> fisting. I was like, what the du- fuck he, is this? I was like, what is my this? My went, glug, 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 glug. He was like, fuck this shit. I'm getting drunk before he can make it to the ring. <laughs> What are you talking about? That's the pride of beyond, bro. Shit. Uh, yeah. I guess. Um, but but, but, but with that. that too, I I I embraced the fact that when it came to the indie scene, it was not because people will go, oh my god, the, the indies is such the best. Uh, they have all the great stars, and but no, you get in, you get more intimate with them because your hope is that they get to the bigger stage, and you'd mm-hmm. be like, yeah, I saw them before, and that. That actually was the reason why I didn't leave wrestling when I, had, I was almost getting that, which the terminology is getting burnt out. You were getting burnt yeah. out with it. Uh, and that's what I got with Rageworks and such like that because I was going and monitoring indie wrestling more than the WWE stuff. So I, I got more in tune. Like I, I, but I you're ha- going to an event, right? I was going to that's, an event. That's a whole nother ball game in, the, in itself. Like, would right. you rather watch a baseball game or would you rather go to a baseball game? Uh, watch it because yeah, going okay. to an uh, go. No. Yeah. All right, you shut the fuck go, up. Like, go, go. Like, I, no, I you know go, if I go to a baseball game, I'm even more bored than I am just watching it. No, right. bro, 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 you got people bro, with you. It's, bro, it's but all if you about go to the like game, at least you could have some nice grub. You could fucking go. Yeah, in the but back I don't get the commentary. Chill. At least I could get the commentary in the fucking. All right, so yeah. not baseball, okay? But like it said, any it's more fun when you have a group of people, and you're. It's like a whole. It's like a whole different setting than just sitting on your couch and watching something. It's a something. vibe. It's a right. vibe. I'd rather Red, go to Red, 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 come on, bro. Uh, we would have House of Glory. You're telling me it's not better that when we heckle on the ref, medium uh, ref. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. But just she, she, like you said, like she said, baseball is like she said, baseball is different. But wrestling is different because it's interactive. It's 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 more in law. It's like a football time. game as opposed to. I think the only sport. I think the only. Not for nothing, and it's because we kind of more like celebrities now and shit. Like, kind of, you know, just struck my own ego. Kind of more like celebrities people, now. People Jesus do like taking pictures Christ. with us. Yeah, but exactly. There should more, be alcohol in this cup. Maybe <laughs> wrestling is a little more personal touch, though, right? Like, you know, you you people remember you. People, you know, the wrestlers will remember who you are. It's like, oh shit, yeah, you were here last time. What's up, look, at, look at JD. It, Fuck it's a little campus, more personal, boy. but <laughs> yeah. No, but it's also it's also it's it's also like ties it, it it also ties to um what brings you closer to why you love. Wrestling, and this is what will will bring us back to where the, my initial start was for the, this cutting a promo was when you started watching <laughs> wrestling, you enjoyed what 
it gave you from the jump when you got into it. The battle right. between good and evil, uh, the pageantry, the the the, the gimmicks, uh, the, the trash talking, the commentary, the electricity that came with the fans that were there. And everybody goes to this early times where you get the, the WWE, WCW, uh, ECW mm-hmm. time, and they're like... You, they had their own feeling of why they went to these promotions and they felt this way. And then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, they just left. It, it just became, they which stopped. Is, which is crazy because, like, a lot of people, and, and coming into that conversation, a lot of people um, are, around our age group kind of left after the Attitude Era, right? That's, like, the main thing I always hear is, like, oh, my boy was Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock and... Yo, I remember Mr. Ass and, and The Godfather. But then after that, after Stone Cold left, I stopped watching. When it got family after, friendly. After, after, you know. No, the, the I remember Rock Goldberg. I I but, then, but then the crazy part is, like, after that era, we had the Ruthless Aggression era, which to me was one of the best eras in wrestling. It was my favorite. It was my favorite era um, in wrestling, period. Ruthless Aggression was my favorite. But but see, but this is this is why, this, but, but Rondo, your point exactly, like, all those people who go, yo, I remember when I fucked with Goldberg mm-hmm. and Sting. Do you want to know why? Now you know why Vince McMahon brought him back. He doesn't. He doesn't give a fuck how old he is. He cares to bring those guys who have been out of the loop for a while back. Oh shit! Goldberg's back, oh, son. Yeah, I'm coming Goldberg's back, there. son. I'll buy that shit. <laughs> and it's so funny because yo, like, I want to watch so, him jackhammer one of these new fucking wrestlers, yo. Like, I'm and telling you, you almost, like, and, and you almost, you almost have like, um, it's almost like I beat though. You're so cute. Like you still have like that child mentality whenever fucking Undertaker comes out. That's so nice. It's, you know what I mean? It's like, right. oh, like my for example, I have a, uh, my friend that I live with. He always like every time Undertaker or Goldberg he even hears their name, he comes running to the TV and he's like, "Did they come back?" I'm like, "No. Why? Why?" <laughs> he's like, "No. That's Why? Wait, it, Why no, is he? No. God, he got he's like, old. No, I, I love to see those guys, bro. And it's like, oh, you're so cute." Bro. But that's what. And, but, but you know what? It's funny because that's exactly what Vince plays off of. Yep. Because exactly, he, they, they, exactly. he'll play off that. Uh, that four or five it's a familiarity, week, the yeah. four or five weeks of familiarity, and she to get the you know you, 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 listen, Undertaker's coming back by his wine. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you get that <laughs> shit by his hip hop album. It's like, his, okay, his Cabernet Sauvignon. Get his, get, get, Cabernet Sauvignon. Exactly. <laughs> by <laughs> hey, all elite Scooby Doo. <laughs> it's like yeah, you can do that. Hey, great, hey, great. Dead man's from Texas. Because even like I said, but this wine's from France. Because even a, even my my people's at the job, they'll be like, "Yo, I saw that Goldberg came back," and I'm going, "Yeah, who gives a fuck?" He's like, "Yo, that was my man," and I'm like, yeah. and they're watching for the two weeks to the build up. I'm like, "Do you know that he's trash, right? Like, you don't you don't get it." But to them, it's like to them, but to them, it's a nostalgia trip. It's but, like, holy shit, my childhood's back. Can you imagine yeah. right now? Rondo will get this. Can you imagine? Oh, well, Matt will know too. Can you imagine if fucking. Uh, the NFL did that That you get Brett Favre For two weeks To play for Buffalo That'd be hilarious <laughs> Yo, It's like We're getting amazing. It's like Everyone's Patrick like Brett Ewing, Favre is coming on. back Ewing will, Patrick Ewing Will play versus the Celtics <laughs> Tonight put it, put it this way Yo put that'll be way. crazy Right It's like fucking uh, You get Daryl Strawberry For one night only In the lineup for the Mets Lenny Dykstra oh, so Lenny Dykstra <laughs> What You know what's crazy Is it, it's it's almost like I put it this way. It's like, uh, and I know this was a big thing the past week or so. Is the Animaniacs, right? We were all excited because yes. it was a sense of nostalgia from right. our childhood, oh, yeah. uh, from when we were younger that came back. It's almost the same thing, you know. I guess that's that. That's what sells nowadays is just the nostalgia. And that's why yeah, these dudes reboots. are all coming the back. Reboots. But then, Say by but the then like, for, the... for wrestling yeah. fans like us, it's like a freaking abortion of a show. Like you're just like, what the hell? Why did I even watch this Saudi Arabia right. crap? You know, brought back Boy Meets World. They brought back Saved by the Bell. They brought back Full House. It's all Yo, nostalgia bro, now. Yo, in, bro, in, uh, in Animaniacs, the first episode, they say they say the song, reshoot it, reboot it, redo it. It's like <laughs> every, every, everybody fucking, like, the lack of creativity and new ideas leads us to the nostalgia trip. Nostalgia trip. I mean, listen, like, they just announced a few new movies coming out. Clifford the Door, which, by the way, looks terrible. Oh Tom my and Jerry. God. We don't deserve a vaccine. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't deserve a vaccine after seeing that disaster. That but, meme um, was fantastic. Uh, Yo, they literally took my dog Buddy and made him red. Why does uh, it look and, like um, you spray painted my dog, bro? By the way, yeah, Marco, Marco, hey Marco, Mook from Mook. Mexico, Mook. Marco, Mook. Much love, Marco. But, 
But for me, it's just like it's like it's the easy way to make a dime, and the creative juices have not been flowing, and that goes to wrestling as well. It's 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 gotten boring because I know what's gonna happen. I'm waiting for the next twist, the next turn, and I don't know if that come. I don't I know. know if that's ever gonna happen again. But I, I think the crowd has not been flowing. Ooh, I didn't, listen, yummy. To me, I, I think there's a, there's a there's a chance for it to get like back that back to back to that way. I do miss it's the just audience. a lull. I think it's just a I miss lull. the I miss I miss the trolls of, uh, in the audience fucking doing random chants, like like Undertaker when Undertaker did his shit this past week. I do because it's fucking funny. Undertaker, Under, Undertaker, when he came back, when Undertaker came back and um on Survivor Series, and I heard the fake implanted Undertaker chance, I'm like, you know what? If I was Taker, I'd be like, why am I oh, you doing like, this? You mean like the this is this is awesome chance that they're implanting too? That is so. They're awesome? terrible. They're terrible. They're no, terrible. It, but you it, know how? But you know how I know they're, not, they're implanting chance? <laughs> There was you know how I know they're implanting chance. There's no, there's no what chance. That's how I know they're implanting chance. Oh, because they can't catch up. They can't catch no. up. They can't hit the button bro, fast you, enough. Bro, you know, you know, if they really turned the audio on for our cameras for Thunderdome, it would be a fucking disaster. We would hear, we would hear. Ah, blah, 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 blah. It would be a fucking mess. No, hey, like, shut the fuck up. Exactly. <laughs> It'll be in the background. Somebody, somebody. <laughs> You know, you know they mute us, right? Like everyone keeps saying our audio's on. No, it's not. If they're in, if they're in Compton or in fucking Brooklyn, there'd be gunshots in the fucking back. Oh, like or like over here, tabloid. like a typical tabloid. Yay! No, the L train, the L train will be going. Uh, uh, we kill the L train every time I smack them. No, but 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 to me, it 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 it, it became a. I never left. Like it 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 it's it sad as I it may sound. I never left. I never fully just disconnected. I never did. I mean, maybe for like a week or two, you might not like watch it. Like that's me. Like I'm. Oh, yeah, yeah, but one of those like moments. Recap, but as to say, know? like a long stretch for years nah. or m- months mm-hmm. or years, I never left. I was always into and in, in in tune with what was going on. I was always part of. I watched <laughs> whatever it was. My daughter was raised on it. Like the, it, it was always part of of the 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 household, but. Mm-hmm. I think for those where who grew up on it, the disconnect came to it's it came to from either one or two places that it was not real to them anymore. They you know they it, it's you didn't believe that fucking yeah, you kind of just stone, go out of it. that Stone Cold really didn't hate Bret Hart. Like you didn't really fucking believe it. Or you didn't believe Santa, Santa's real? That Undertaker had fucking magic. Like <laughs> you didn't fucking <laughs> take it. That Rick Flair. Wait, so you're saying? Wait, wait. Vince didn't piss his pants when Stone Cold put the gun on him. Yeah, like, or or, or Rick Flair um, really has to pay fucking three of his wives, and he's not that as wait, rich as he's not wait, as wait, rich wait, as they think stop. he is. Everyone stop! Everyone stop! You're telling me that Vince did not get blown up in that limousine? No, Damn you're it. fucking with me, right? Blame Benoit for that shit, because that story would have actually been pretty funny, though. I that shit would have been Yo, I would have... I would have uh, yo, uh, to be Benoit honest, didn't I kill his family? Stop. It's like Voldemort. Oh, no, that is, asked, real. that is real. I that's why. Right. You, know you know what? Like, I would have asked that question. Everybody always had that argument, like, oh, Benoit should be in the Hall of Fame. I always say no. Not only because of that, but because he met, he messed up one of the biggest storylines that could have been fucking, <laughs> fucking well, hilarious. If I was, yo, if, if I saw Vince in person, the, the, one, the one question I would ask would be like, yo, what was your plan for the reincarnation of you? Like, like I, 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 I want to know how the setup would have been for you to come out back to life. By the way, like, by uh, the way, JD just said Santa is, is real and you better shut your filthy mouth. <laughs> I, he oh is God. real, damn it. <laughs> Oh, so Saint Nick. Still real to me, oh, damn it. No, but the real oh, the, Saint Dick. The real the realness of this is that there's 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 a time where it does pull up. Oh, we get a phone call. Boop boop. You might not hear it. Now we got five people. Hold on. Turn over tabloid, who's this? What's up, Jay? What's up? Okay, oh, oh, y'all can hear, oh, can hear him. Oh, you guys can yeah. hear him. Oh, yep. shit. Oh, look cool. At, look at Turnbuckle Tabloid doing oh, things where shit. people can St- actually talk to each other. Holy future, shit. Baby. Oh, my God. The Marco. future is here. Marco, give me a... Ah, ha, ha. Hey, guys. How you doing over there? What? <laughs> Marco. Marco. Can you hear me? Yes. How you doing, guys? Yo, Mar- Marco, give me a... Ha. How are you guys? Oh, okay, he's there. Marco, when did you? Marco, when did you stop wanting to watch wrestling? Marco, when did you stop wanting to watch wrestling? What? 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 When did you? <laughs> I, I forgot. You're in um the deepest ends of Mexico. When did you stop wanting to watch wrestling? 
1986. <laughs> 1986, man. That's when you wanted when to. The, when, the, when the Mets won the World Series. Is that when you wanted to yeah, stop? That was, is that when you wanted to stop watching wrestling? Yeah, actually, I saw. We used to see uh, me chance videos. The first match that I watched was Randy Savage versus, versus Rick and Steve. Oh, so that was a great match. But when did you want to stop no, watching wrestling? No, I, I, I think I think Marco thought you said when did stop. he start? When did I guy stop watching wrestling? When did you want stop, to stop like, watching it? Yeah, like, was there ever a moment oh. where you thought, like, I'm this like, is it? Like, I'm when done with this. Wow, that was, like, 10 years ago. I stopped watching Rocky. Raw was, like, when uh, The Rock and Soko just went away. I stopped watching continuously Rocky. Just I didn't like it. Good angle left. Everybody left. You know what? I stopped watching it. That was more than two years ago, though. So when, when what, what brought you back? You did. Uh, NXT, NXT, man. NXT and NXT? Um, Impact. When they did show, was an Impact. Oh, I Impact. I started watching, yeah. I started That's watching that. That okay. was different. Uh, commentators, Mike Tanay, I don't know. Well, Mike Tanay, I don't like him. The other, the other guy, I don't know. The, the guy from Impact. Yeah, Mike Tanay. I don't like him, but the other guy with the beard. I love Mike Tanay. The announcer. Don West. The announcer was different. Suicide, AJ Styles, Jay Lethal. Shock Boy, I remember Shock Boy. <laughs> I saw that guy. It was different, low key. Or, DNA was fire. What's his name right now? I, oh, yeah. I used to watch that. It was different. But you had, but you had, but you, but you, but you had uh, Lucha Libre over there. Lucha Libre is like a constant thing, uh, and all. And how 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 does that how does that basically deter you from not watching wrestling anymore? Um, you tell you to hear? Yeah. You mean that? Yeah. How, um, that's a, that's always uh, unless you want to say that you didn't want you don't want to watch American wrestling, but in Mexico, they they at least their story. It, was there a time where that their product wasn't doing well for you either? Yeah. And you know what? Um, I don't know. I stopped watching Lucha because Triple A was doing, it was a second rate or a third rate don't go to here in Mexico. Okay. They were copying moves. They were copying uh, people doing like the show slam, even copying the cane with the uh, makeup and all that thing. Chess man, they call him here Chess man. Everybody was copying things, even the storylines like Vince versus Oh, Chess uh, man. Kane. Chess man was doing this thing, right? Do that like five or eight years ago. You know what? It got tiresome. You know why? Oh, because they were losing. We had to some girls and we wanted to see a match. Not a soap opera. It was a bad yeah. soap opera here with Chip Lea. And Contejo is different. That. It's more wrestling. It's more square. But you know what? It's wrestling. It's lucha. Remember, uh, Red, remember when I told you that they were doing the D-Generation Mex thing in AAA? That, yes, that's around yes, that time that he was God. talking about. Yeah. <laughs> D-Generation Mex. Yeah, exactly. That's hysterical. <laughs> Is it with, on YouTube? Uh, with, uh, <laughs> with X-Pac, uh, what was his name? Um, um, Rocky um, Romero and his I'm Russian partner. The, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure, yo, Rondo, when you get the tab, put that on the Turnbuckle Tabloid page. You find it on YouTube. It would be fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah, I'll find it. Tag me in that shit. Backward. But, um... Uh, uh, Marco, oh, thank, you for, thank you for calling yeah. in, Marco. And as always... Uh, you're 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 a friend of the show and happy Thanksgiving. Do they have Thanksgiving in Mexico? No, they don't, right? They really don't. No, no, no. We don't have it. You're here. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, nope. no, we don't have that. No, it's a, it's an no, American no thing, Thanksgiving. Yeah. No pil pilgrims here. <laughs> thank you for calling in, Senor, and thank you for everything, sir. And always give us your 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 signature sign off. Uh, dude. Uh, thank you so much. I, I you know what? A little bit of. Uh, sound here but you know what it's always a pleasure talking to you guys and you know what Latino heat yeah. oh, 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 oh. Thank you, finally the Skype fucking works where everybody's on it shit the dude had earplugs in <laughs> 
Henry, the topic is pork shoulder and tuna casserole. <laughs> what? Yeah, Henry, pork, like, honestly, pork. what the, like, what the fuck? Feel free to call pork, in and discuss your pork shoulder Puerto Rican meal. Style. Because apparently he doesn't see on the heading when he goes into the thing was why I hate wrestling. Cutting a promo, I hate pork shoulder. That's what it is. <laughs> No, listen. Um, Nicole is white, and even she had penil. She didn't have pork shoulder. She had oh, penil had, and I coquito. She had and she had I coquito. She, I bet and, she had some penil. Eh, eh, eh. Listen, how you doing? Yowzers, yowzers. So, all right, but, uh, I know Henry's Shut about. Up, Rondo. I know Henry's about to. <laughs> I know Henry's about to call in soon, so uh, I'm trying to trying to uh, drag this out probably for another two minutes, but. Um, just to say, I, my my whole my whole aspect when it came to me possibly living leaving wrestling wasn't the it wasn't during my early days. It's it's like now now it's 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 with the pleth. This will be my 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 buffet twenty years ago. You know what I'm saying? Where I would have I- oh my god, I have so much wrestling to watch. But now there's no crab legs. <laughs> Yo, there he is. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Turbo Tablo, who's this? Yo, this is Henry. Hey, uh, we called fuck, it. Oh, oh my god. god. Hey, but, all right, gotta work. Yo, all right, yo, yo. Yo. you guys take it. We'll Dave, be back. Oh my god. Dave, Dave, I- I'm very, very uh, disappointed <laughs> with you. Because You're you disappointed in who? Pork shoulder is Benin. It's the same shit. No, you I'm call it. American. Look what you calling it, sir. Well, Yo, I'm whiter, I'm whiter than Casper the Friendly American Ghost, and I know that's got to call Rosen Pork, pork Show. <laughs> Fuck you. You know how, you know how white like, Maddie, Maddie is? Maddie can't tan at all. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, right. hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. One, at, one at a time. Let him plead his case. Come on, Harry. Tell okay, me what I'll, it is. Go ahead. Say what? Say what? Please your case. Why are you calling it on fa- on Facebook? Roasted pork shoulder. What are you doing? The roasted pork shoulder. Penil. No, you no no no. You no, didn't tag no. it as penil, or you didn't tag it as penil roasted pork shoulder. You were saying my roasted, roasted pork, pork shoulder. shoulder. No man. My pork shoulder, yeah. But I did, I no, did no, 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 no. Matt, you mad? Puerto Rican coconut nog. I'm so white, and that shoulder has the vibe check. Was the bomb. Puerto Rican coconut nog. Don't be nog. fucking hating. Don't be hating. <laughs> yeah, what's the topic, bro? The topic is why you fucking call it pork roasted pork shoulder, nope. okay? That's the only reason we let you call <laughs> it. <laughs> fuck wrestling, fuck wrestling. We're talking, and you make tuna casserole? Are you white <laughs> like me? What are we doing? Were there yeah, raisins cool. in it? <laughs> No, but let's get back to the topic. When did you stop? What? Or when did you feel like you were gonna start stop watching wrestling? What made you hate wrestling? Did Let's you ever hate wrestling? Well, so Do you hate pork well, shoulders? Do you hate tuna casserole? When WCW went down, when WCW went when Vince brought WCW, I was so pissed off because I was a big WCW fan, and I was like, "Yo, there's no more WCW. That's crazy!" Like, and I hated WWE for it. Buying it because so, uh, I think at that time, a uh, couple of weeks before that, every bitch was talking about buying it completely, and then WWE just went and just smashed it. You so, know? you didn't dislike so, wrestling, you disliked the monopoly. No, 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 because at that time, the only thing I used to watch back then was what ECW, WCW, and WWE. And at that before WCW got bought, ECW was already bought by WWE, so now it was just left. If WCW died, now I'm stuck watching WWE, and I, I didn't want to watch that. So I remember when WCW got bored, I didn't watch wrestling for like three months. I was like, I'm not watching this shit no more. Then when I started seeing WCW wrestlers come back, and, you know, and WWE shows and all that, and I said, oh, it's getting interesting. That's what I started watching it again. But I didn't watch it for like three months. I didn't want to know shit about wrestling. So, but, but you, know? the, you, you have your, your podcast, and you basically uh, – how is it that you centralize your – your viewing of wrestling because there's a lot of there's a lot of wrestling there's a lot so how how do you centralize what it is that you're gonna do for your show and what you're gonna do for not to show share on your show well look I know there's a lot of wrestling and I can't cover everything but you know um, I would like to cover more but you know I only got uh, certain uh, certain access to certain promotions like MOW I watch that. Ring of Honor and all that stuff, but 
you know, I try to do the best as I can, bro, because right now there's so many rough me. I wish I could uh, go, you know, see independent stuff and all that, you know, but, you know, that is, that's all I can do. But, right now, you know but do, do you um, watch anything like, outside of wrestling? Because like we, we mentioned earlier that you, you have the to. British break, the great British, British baking show on Netflix. In and out. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it. I fucking hate him so much. <laughs> but it's Sugar like, Rush, but, but I'm saying that for for you to like to, to to do like for you to do your show because you do a show twice a week, right? Yeah, twice a week, about almost uh, uh what about two hours now. Oh please, that's lightweight too. What the fuck are we do over here? But I'm just saying, mm-hmm. but it's still you still are able to cover a lot of things in those two hours. But do you watch anything outside of wrestling? So, uh, I mean, I, I, I'll stream, I'll stream stuff like I'll, I'll watch stuff that is not non wrestling related. But you know, I, I got a business to to do. I got to be on top of everything. Right. I'm trying to be on top of my game. So you know, um, I think the, now that I'm working from home, um, I look at the the dirt sheets, what's going on, whatever, and then like from, I think from I think from the time I get up, I'm fucking looking for information about wrestling, whatever. And then, um, then around six o'clock, seven o'clock, then I just like stay away from wrestling and watch like you know shows or whatever, stream stuff. That's the way. I, but I'm on, on top of everything. That's why I always got topics every fucking week. Yeah. You know, so I, I, I'm I mean, on top of everything. Gotta let you go because I um, gotta start wrapping up because um, Oski got a, a, a oh. an event that he has to do. But just uh, just a, just it's a all cheat. good. It's all good. I'm gonna be uh, my my right, my, uh, no my co my co host um, my co my co host is gonna run 10, 15 minutes late anyway. So it's, um just just uh give yourself a cheap uh cheap plug on the show and let everybody know where you can get you at. Yeah, I'm on the Chokeslam Wrestling Report. You guys can find me on Twitch, um, YouTube, Apple, Spotify, any um audio podcast that you guys uh, like to listen to your show. So Jay, have a good one. Um, everybody just have a a, a good weekend. Happy Sound Yo, Gaming. Henry, good hearing from you, brother. And enjoy your roasted pork shoulder. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Henry's tight about that. <laughs> Too bad, oh, motherfucker. I'm calling you out on it. That's what fucking is. What's the problem? <laughs> Step one of my roasted pork shoulder process. What the fuck? <laughs> All oh right, guys. God. Once again, for you guys who are partaking in this week's episode, thank you for checking in on cutting a promo. And when did you stop? Like, we got to put that as a uh, as a poll. Now. We have little bit. Let's <laughs> see. Just she probably put it up as a poll. Oh, she's no. doing it. Okay. No, we already have. No, I ain't doing it. We have. Yeah. We already have the D shots yeah. um, um, poll they have to put up. No, back into an actual poll. I'm gonna do something fucking ridiculous. Oh, okay, that's what we're gonna do. So, guys, uh, stick around. We have much more installed. Um, and um, no going anywhere. We'll check you guys in a sec.